Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to a, a, a new series we're going to be doing. This is going to be the Broken Finger series. <laughs> um, last week Baxter had actually climbed up on the couch and he was sitting next to me and I was petting his big squishy head and I was like, wow this is so nice. And then he saw a packet of saltines that my little one had left on the couch and he became feral. <laughs> so I grabbed him by his collar and then he twisted and did like a somersault but my finger kind of was stuck in the collar and it broke my finger bone. So, um, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not displaced. It should heal by itself in about six weeks or so. I have a splint on it and I'm going to see an orthopedist this afternoon. So, but I have itchy fingers and I want to paint. Um, my older daughter helped me mix up all my paints and pouring medium, which was so sweet of her. The family has been absolutely lovely. HOA and I were joking because he's got hands and I've got feet. So <laughs> together. <laughs> And we share a brain most of the time anyway, so. <laughs> Anyways, tonight we're going to be trying another one of those Wanderlust pours because I got my Prussian Blue in and I'm so excited to use it. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a 20 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. My daughter taped and pinned the back. <laughs> <laughs> Painted the sides and edges. Well, I did help with that part. Let's look at some colors. This one is this beautiful Pevio Studios Iridescent Green Blue which I really, really like a lot. And I seem to have forgotten my stir sticks, but consistency is mound on a mound and then sinks into itself, just like always. That's the iridescent green blue. I have some Golden's Prussian blue here. I have Golden's green gold here. And I have my 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics and some Chromacryl in white. So for that size, we need about 17 ounces of paint. I'm going to layer these two smaller cups because one of the things I learned in the last one in Unicorn Skies was I had too much paint and too much flow extender. So I'm using smaller cups this time to make sure that we don't have that happen again. Okay, I hope I can pour these. <laughs> I think I can. Okay, so we're just gonna start with a tiny bit of gold in the middle and a little bit of white. This may be not as neat as we normally do. <laughs> I'm going to put a thicker layer of the Prussian blue in there. Okay. Now we're going to put some of our green blue. I'm going to put a little bit of white in there. more gold. Now we're going to come in with the green gold. And another thick layer of depression. And some of the, actually I'm going to do a little bit of white and gold. I'm going to do gold then white. nice and thick and then one more layer of pressure on top okay that's good let's move these over so as long as I don't use that finger I'm okay <laughs> okay you also have a tub of white titanium white standing by okay so we're gonna do our runway of gold this way over here first all right Let's see how this goes number one of the broken finger series <laughs> are you ready husband of awesomeness I lost that I am here we go Okay. 
That's cool. So the Wanderlust pour is two straight pours, wandering straight pours, but instead of just going diagonally in one direction, we have one going this direction, and then we're gonna pour this one in this direction. The idea being that we keep all of these beautiful fingerlings in the center, and we have this diffuse part, the sort of ombre, celly part on either side becoming the outside background. Okay, that's looking really cool. I'm happy we have a curve there too. I'm gonna put a little bit more gold on this side over here. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start over here, HOA. Copy. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here you go. Semper Paredes. So this is awesome. This part here and this part here, that's exactly what we wanted. Um, I do want to do something a little bit different this time than I've done in the other ones. I'm going to take my chopstick here and I'm just going to kind of wreck in here a little bit just along this line. Not necessarily to mess up the fingerlings, but just to add a little bit of interest to that one part. Okay. Now we're going to get our flow extender. Take our flow extender and we're going to go around this. So again, the goal here is to keep this center part and stretch out these sides. Okay, so to that end, let's see. We're gonna go over that corner and bring it back to center. Yes, I have paint all over my hands. It's okay. Go down this way now.
That's a bit cool. Still kind of a lot of paint on here, but I don't want to make the mistake that I'd made last time, which I felt was I overstretched that other one. I over tilted it um, because I felt like I had a lot of paint on there. So we're not going to do that this time. Um, I think I'm going to stretch this top edge out a little bit and let it just float down this way. Introduce a little bit of a curve there. Take some of that bottom stretched out edge off. Hopefully we can keep the cool finger rings. I like a lot of stuff that's happening on this side. I'm not sure I like this thing though. That's kind of giving me spine. I don't like that in there. So we're gonna get the weight of the paint till about here, and then we're gonna go off that side. Okay, I think that's done. Okay, let me whip my hands off a little bit. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> we'll point with this. Okay, I love this. I love this part in here, that pop of Prussian blue in between with the green gold and the iridescent green blue is really cool. This whole edge is very pretty. I'm glad we stretched that out and took off that like snake belly looking part. So I like it stretched out and opened up. I love all these fingerlings in here. Love this part. I like where the wrecks are and I'm glad that I did that little bit of wrecking because it just added a little bit of interest in there. This part is way cool. I love all the cells in here. These fingerlings are gorgeous. Love the Prussian blue and the green gold. This is cool. I'm happy. Okay. That's awesome. So nice to know I can still pour. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> and uh, I would like to take a moment to thank my Joey for helping me mix and HOA for shooting and putting up with me and taking very, very good care of me and making sure I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. So <laughs> this was awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a couple days later and it's dry now. Um, sorry, it looks like it's about to start raining. <laughs> we don't have any sun, but I wanted to show you guys outside in natural light. This one came out really, really neat. Um, this was the Prussian blue and that Amsterdam greenish blue, the iridescent one, and Amst or, sorry, golden's gold, green gold and white and 24 karat gold. And it came out so pretty. I'm so pleased with this one. I love all of these fingerlings in here. Really, really gorgeous stuff. 
beautiful color. This is that section up on the, that at the very end, I said it looks like a snake belly and we had to tilt some of it off and stretched out the corner. I love how that came out. I love these little pops of color inside the fingerlings are so cool. And then we get down here, there's a little bit of that wreck that was in that center line. More fingerlings with that iridescent green blue and the green gold, which is really interesting together. But then the part that I love is here. I love this green gold with the panes and those bubbles rising up. All those pretty cells in this corner with that darker Prussian blue. And it, it's like really kind of sapphire-ish almost. It's almost metallic looking. Really neat stuff happened in there. I guess from the 24 karat blending a little bit. A few little gold cells. But lots of movement. Lots of flow. Lots of dynamic motion. And this one. Pretty cool stuff. I'm very happy with this and the fact that I realized I still can paint so um, I did get a new brace <laughs> that holds my fingers kind of feels like a penguin flipper <laughs> it's kind of driving me crazy a little bit but the doctor said three weeks not six so that means I got two weeks left and uh, then a whole bunch of physical therapy <laughs> so thank you all so much for being here with us thank you for all your good wishes I really appreciate all of you and we love you a lot. We'll see you for the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.